We are going to begin our shift to the deaf learner classroom. Now, the experience of one deaf learner is not the same as others. However, there are common barriers found in deaf education. Today we will focus on data collected about deaf students' communication. Specifically, the methods of communication used in the home and the classroom. Understand this data is from 2011 to 2014, but the organization that tracked it for decades no longer collects it. Therefore, the present data is most likely different. This organization also collected information related to hearing aid and cochlear implant use. This first graph displays American Sign Language use in the home. As we can see, most deaf students from 2011 to 2014 did not regularly sign with their families. Only 22.9% did. So let's think about what this might mean for these students. Dr. Petito's videos were clear on the impact of early sign language exposure on deaf infants' eventual learning of spoken language. If most of these students are not coming from homes where they are using sign language, their natural language, with their families, what does that mean for their language acquisition? This data could explain why many deaf people struggle in school because they do not have a strong foundational language to communicate and learn. This second graph displays communication methods in the classroom. Unlike the previous chart, there have been some changes between the two collection years. From 2011 to 2014, most students were in educational environments where spoken language was used with or without cues. However, from 2013 to 2014, there was a decrease in the use of spoken language with cues and an increase in ASL or C. So what are the implications of this data? Is the experience of deaf students in speech-only environments different than deaf students in ASL environments? If English does not come naturally to deaf students since they cannot hear it, how much time do deaf students spend on learning how to speak and lip-read in the speech-only classroom? How many fewer hours do deaf students spend learning about the same content as their hearing peers? Is this extra time spent on speech therapy beneficial for deaf students? We know from the data presented by Dr. Petito that ASL mastery will positively impact English learning. Therefore, deaf students should be in environments that focus on ASL and traditional educational goals instead of spending more time on forcing deaf people to meet the needs of hearing people. So the first major restriction to education is language. Deaf students are not given the same access to the classroom as their peers because they often come from homes that do not use sign language. And when they enter school, most of them are placed in environments where the focus is on speech.